Hi guys, today we will look into another example of one sample mean test and probably today it's going to be a, a different type of uh, test. First look at the question that I have. Post-support claims that the mean del delivery day taken before ideal filtry is 8 working days. A random sample of 40 transactions was taken to test if the mean delivery day is different from 8 working days. So, first, before you can decide whether it's going to be uh, one upper tail or one lower tail or two tail test, you have to base your decisions on your hypothesis. So, let us formulate our hypothesis here. So, what is claim? What is claim should be? Then now hypothesis. So HO should be our hypothesis mean or the mean delivery day is 8 days. It's equal to 8 days. Since the symbol equal is used, we know that it's going to be a two-tail test. A two-tail test means that there are going to be two rejection regions on the left and on the right. So the now hypothesis is Hypothesis mean is equal to 8 days and the research hypothesis is what is to be tested. So we, we, we want to test whether the delivery days is not equal to 8 days. So that should be H1 or the alternate hypothesis. So hypothesis mean is not equal to 8 days. So the steps taken for hypothesis test is like what we have discussed last week. It's five steps. So we started with formulating hypothesis and then we select a significance level. So I selected 0.05 or 5% as a significance level. So decide on your test. So it's going to be a two-tail test with sigma unknown because based on the question here, uh, it doesn't mention the standard deviations. It doesn't mention about the sigma of the populations. So it's going to be a two-tail test. So we're going to go through a critical value approach. Have to look for the CV. So the Excel formula for critical value should be T I and V two tail. So what is required? You have you need to fill fill in the probability and the degree of freedom. So the probability is zero point zero five. And the degree of freedom is uh, the sample, which is 40, minus 1, which is 39. So the critical value is 2.02. So 2.02 should be here, and negative 2.02 should be here. So we, we do have two critical values in the distribution. One on the right side, which is 2.02. And the other is on the left side, which is negative 2.02. Okay, now we want to calculate our t stat. In order to calculate our t stat, we need to know our sample mean and our sample standard deviation. So let's calculate our sample mean. So the Excel formula is equal to average of the data that we have here. So let's see how many days. Sample mean is 8.825. Okay, now we look at the sample standard deviation. So I hope you can recall the formula. It is ST dev dot s sample so we select the whole data sample standard deviation uh, so, sorry uh, sample standard deviation is 2.79 okay so we know that we have 40 observations or 40 transactions here so our n sample size is 40 and our hypothesis mean is 8 days. And now we already have our detailed 
And that now we should be able to calculate our t stack. So let us calculate our t stack. So equal to open bracket our sample mean minus hypothesis mean eight. We close bracket divide by open bracket sample standard deviation. Let let let's try again. I think I've. I have wrongly entered the, uh, the formula. Okay, equal to close bracket sample mean here minus hypothesis mean eight. Okay, close bracket divide by sample standard deviation. Open bracket. This is sample standard deviation. Divide by the square root of the sample size and. So, SQRT square root, just type in 40 and close the bracket, the whole bracket. So, our T stack is 1.8. So, 1.8 should lies below the critical value. So, we know that our critical value is, is 2.02. .02. So, our T stack is somewhere here which is 1.87 so you should know now whether we should reject HO or we should not reject HO so CV is sorry our T step is less than the critical value meaning that it is not within the rejection region you cannot reject HO do not reject HO okay the second approach is by using the p-value approach the p-value approach the value if it is smaller than the sigma or the, the significant level, we reject HO. If the p-value that we obtain is bigger than the significant level of 0 0.05, do not reject HO. So let's calculate our p-value. So the formula is t distribution two tail. Since we are using two tail, it should be two tail. So what is required is to insert our T stack and the degree of freedom which is 39 and just press enter. So now our P value is 0 0.07. So 0 0.07 is actually bigger than 0 0.05. So what does it mean? 0 0.07 is bigger than 0 0.05 so if you base on the guide here do not reject HO do not reject HO so look we have two decisions here First decision is based on the critical value approach and the second decision is based on the p-value approach and both are consistent because both have a result of do not reject HO. So determine the decision rule. There is no sufficient evidence from the critical value approach test and p value p value approach test to support h1 so meaning that we cannot reject h o so what does that mean as a conclusion post claims that the mean delivery day taken before arbitrary is eight working days so it is actually the mean the 
delivery this be taken by post seaport to deliver its packages is actually it this okay so that should be the conclusion so those are the five steps taken to do our hypothesis test so this is what you call two tail test based on the symbol of equal so thank you very much